It's a very important topic. Transformation. Let me change the background to this. Uh, how you're going to work on transformation? First thing you need to know about transformation is you need to know what is x-axis and what is y-axis, how you're going to draw. So this one I'm taking as my x-axis and this one I'm taking as my y-axis. So, sorry. So this one is I'm writing as x. This one I'm denoting as x dash. This one is y and this one is as usual y dash. So x this side means this is plus. Y this side is plus. X dash means negative side and y dash means negative side. So first in transformation, we are going to learn um, equidistance one, okay? That is called reflection. How does the reflection work? So let's let's begin with a uh, line. I'm going to take a line and going to draw over here. Suppose uh, there is a there is a point over here. I'm going to choose over here, and let me choose little thicker one. Uh, suppose I'm going to choose from here, okay, and I'm going to end over here. So there is two point system. One point is here. One point is here. So suppose this is a line. Sorry. So suppose this is a line. I'm giving a name. Name is this is A and this is B. Okay. Now A and B are is a line. You have to reflect. You have to reflect this line with respect to x-axis or with respect to y-axis. First, we are going to do with respect to y-axis. How it is working? So in reflection, you have to keep one thing in mind that how it is working. Uh, what is the reflection means? It's a mirror view. Okay. Mirror view. How this mirror view is working? Suppose I am choosing yeah. y. When you see in the mirror, you, it looks back to you type of thing. Yes. That means what is the distance between the point to the mirror? It should be the same to the mirror uh, to its image. So how are you going to calculate? You are going to calculate from the mirror. One, two, three, four. So if this is a four distance, you are going to do the same way. One, two, three, four. So this is your first point. Similarly, if you're going to do one, two, three, four, there are four points over here. Same thing you have to do from mirror. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now you can join this two point and this will be your mirror image of this one. So what do we do? We, we write a name as this is A dash and this is B dash. So A dash B dash is uh, A dash B dash is, uh, is a mirror image or a reflection of AB. Okay? Are you getting it? So now you are going to, now I'm going to give you some other object Okay, how you are going to do it. Let's start with an, another object. First, I'm going to draw uh, x-axis and y-axis as usual. Sorry, um, x-axis and y-axis. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. Suppose I'm taking a different object. The object I'm going to choose, uh, suppose there's a triangle. I'm taking so this is the triangle. This I'm going to take over here, and from this I'm going to generate. Okay. So now let me give a name of this triangle. Suppose this name of the triangle is this is A and this is B and C. Now you have to reflect this triangle with respect to x-axis. Okay, how are you going to reflect it? Uh, reflection means what I said, x-axis. So now this x-axis is my mirror view. Okay, so now mirror view, what is called? X-axis is called reflection line. What yeah. is called? Reflection line. line. 
Yeah. So reflection line will be your point that you are going to count it. Now, how are you going to count it from there? Each point you have to count from the reflection line. So one, two, three. This is three. So one, two, three. Okay. From there, one, two, three. So from here also, one, two, three. Now, this is the another vertices. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yeah. Eight points. So you have to count from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How many, how many points I said? Again, I'm going to Eight points. So I have to go eight points from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight point. Okay. So once you have got eight points, now you can join it with your uh, line. So you can join this point from here to here. From here to here. And from here to yeah. Okay. Now, how are you going to give a name? Where is B? So you have to give B dash. Where is C? You have to give C dash. And where is A? You have to give A dash. So this is A dash, B dash, A dash, B dash, and C dash is a reflection or reflective image, reflection of A, B, C. Okay. I hope it is making sense. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So every time is it every time we have to do with the axis? No. Sometime we can make it with the lines as well. Let's let's take an example, another example of uh, lines. Suppose I'm going to make an. Uh, let me make axis. Suppose this is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. Now. How you going to make your x-axis and y-axis with a different line? I'm going to I'm going to take some other example. Suppose this uh, I'm going to take a line. Suppose the line is uh, uh, suppose the line is here. So your reflection line. Okay. Suppose your reflection yeah. line. So you have to do with respect to this. Okay. This equation will be given to you. So right now it is one, two, three, four. The equation of this axis, equation of the line is uh, x equals to uh, four. Okay. This is the equation of the line. Now what do you have to do? You have to where is the object? If I'm looking at an object, so the object I'm going to check here. Uh, I suppose I'm going to take over here. This is a uh, my object, and my object is a rectangle. So I'm just drawing a rectangle over here. Okay. Suppose this is my rectangle. So I'm giving a name of this rectangle. Suppose A, B, C, and D. So I check it. I'm maintaining an order like A, B, C, D. So that means it's going this way, right? So this order you also have to maintain when you're giving a name. Now, when you're going to do a reflection with respect to the line, so this is my mirror line now, right? Yeah. Mirror line. So each point you have to find a distance. One, two, three, four. So you go from the side also. One, two, three, four. So this is your one point. This one over here. Now, the second point. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. This is my second point. So the third point was okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten points. So you have to go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is my point B. Similarly, the point will come as C over here. Now what do you have to do? You have to join this uh, uh, image one. So image you have to join means. Uh, I'm going to join this image with uh, this one is this is your line. This is the line. And this is the line over here. And this is the line over here. So you can understand this is uh, my new picture and I have to give a name. Uh, this is A and 
A and D was here, so you have to give A dash. This is D dash. This one is B and C, so you have to give B dash and C dash. So this is your image. Okay, this is your image, and this is your origin or real picture, right? So you have to write that A B C D, okay, and A dash B dash C, C dash and D dash is reflection of A B C D with respect to x equals to four because based on x equals to four only you made this reflection. Okay. So each and every time you have to be careful that which equation of uh, reflection or reflect what is your reflection line. So this reflection line will be uh, important when you are going to reflect an image. Okay, let's do some examples. Okay, I'm going to give some work as an example on reflection, and you will work on it. Okay. <clears throat> 